Okay, we got a lot of views on the non-stick stainless steel, so I thought I'd maybe do another video, show you how I season my cast iron, because I do have a cast iron pot, and I think I'm going to use it tomorrow. So I wash this out uh, with soap and water and a scrub brush, and there's still a little bit of moisture probably in there. We want that out before we season it. So we're just going to set it on the stove and heat it up and evaporate that away. So I'm going to do that and let it cool off, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so the pan is dry, it's good and cooled off now. I'm gonna start applying my grapeseed oil. Somebody asked me why I was using grapeseed oil for this, and the reason I use grapeseed oil, two reasons. One, it has a really good consistent high smoke point of about 420 degrees. And the other reason is this is a flavor neutral kind of oil. So this isn't gonna affect the flavor of anything that you're cooking if you try to use if you try to use like an olive oil different olive oils are going to have different smoke points and whatever so i just find i always use this uh, because it's very consistent for me um, now the important thing is we don't want to get too much we don't have like pools of it in here and we're actually going to coat the entire pan uh, bottom sides handle everything because you don't want this to get rusty so this um this is not only going to non-stick it but it's also going to kind of protect it so we're just gonna take the oil and put it on a towel or a paper towel. Let it get in there. And then we're just gonna rub it all over. You're gonna get the whole pan. Just wanna get that shiny, thin layer of oil. I'm gonna get the handles, the whole inside, the whole outside of the pan. I'm gonna put a little bit more on. Just a little bit more to get on the bottom there. Like that. I'm gonna get the handle. Get the handle good. Now I preheated my oven to 450 degrees. So we're gonna put this in there. And we're gonna let that cook. You can see how shiny it is now. And uh, we're gonna let that bake in the oven for an hour at 450. See you then. By the way, just so you can see this, I did put a layer of aluminum foil down in there so I'm not, if any oil drips, runs down, it won't get on the grates and all that. So uh, let's let that go for an hour. All righty dighty, time's up. Let's have a look, hit off on that. And there's our pan, burning hot, 450 degrees. Let's put our oven mitt on. We'll get this out. Bring it over here and let it cool off. You can see it's got that nice shiny look to it. I don't see any drippy spots where oil collected because that would get kind of sticky uh, if you did see any, if you ever get any like uh, areas where the oil seems to have collected while it was baking, some people actually bake these upside down while they're doing it. Uh, then you immediately try and wipe it up with a paper towel just to get it out there. Otherwise, it'll get it'll be a sticky mess. So we're gonna let this cool off, and it should retain this uh, this patina on it. And then tomorrow, I might try and make chicken salt and boca that's one of the main reasons i have this pan is when i make chicken salt and boca i uh you have to bake it they just you know cook everything in here your wine and your chicken with your uh sage and prosciutto on it and then you just bake the whole thing in the oven and add the mozzarella on at the end and let it melt and then it's ready to serve so you need a, a baking pan that you can put in the oven at a high temperature which with cast iron clearly you can so let's let this cool off and then we'll take another look at it. Okay, I let this cool. Actually, I let it cool overnight because this stays warm for a long time. Uh, you can see it's got that nice shiny patina all around it. So it's good and seasoned. Should be good for cooking today. Uh, I'm going to make chicken salt and boca. I will also record that and uh, have that recipe up for anybody who wants to make an easy chicken salt and boca recipe. And hopefully nothing will stick to this pan. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, please comment below, like, and subscribe and all that. And have a good day.